With loads of talent across every division and obvious delays due to the virus, 2021 has kept fight fans waiting in anticipation like never before. So let's take a look at one of the most promising potential matchups of the future today, Gervonta Davis vs Teofimo Lopez. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe below. Today, the featherweight and lightweight divisions mirror that of the early 2000s, when Nassim, Barrera, Pacquiao, Morales, and Marquez clashed multiple times in unification bouts, revenge matches, and epic trilogies. But the difference between then and now is that back then, it was much easier to get two boxing stars in the ring. Today, 20 years from one of the most exciting eras in the sport, a global pandemic and growing distance between boxing promotions has led to a delay in matchups between today's top stars. There's Devin Haney, coming off a solid division win over Yorkis Gamboa, reigning from Oakland, California, and fighting out of Mayweather's camp in Vegas. Haney is eager for his next fight, ready for a bigger PPV card. There's Ryan Garcia, who just scored a knockout win over former Olympian Luke Campbell, now calling for a fight against legend Manny Pacquiao, who we all know won't shy away from the challenge. There's the former number one pound-for-pound -pound champion Vasily Lomachenko, and he's looking to avenge his recent loss and regain his status as the best in the world. And creeping up the ranks is rising star Shakur Stevenson with his perfect 15-0 record. Lastly, there's George Cambosos Jr., Pacquiao's current sparring partner who seems to fall from everyone's list. While we watch and wait eagerly for those elite athletes to make their next fight happen, let's check out two stars that have risen to the very top of the game. Gervonta Tank Davis is a professional boxer from Baltimore, Maryland, a four-time world champion in two weight classes. Those around Davis talk about the harsh circumstances of his upbringing and how boxing kept him out of the darkness of the streets. But as Davis says, there ain't no safety on this Glock. Davis is referring to his hands, not an actual gun. And once Davis gets comfortable and starts unloading punches, that ring is anything but safe. Tank Davis's knockout to win percentage is 95.8%. Oh, that's why. Lightning quick power. Sanchez flat on his face, and that's it. Katie he solidified himself as a powerhouse puncher who throws devastating uppercuts, kind of like that one heavyweight, Mike Tyson. And like Tyson, Davis embodies the rags to riches story, now residing comfortably in the Mayweather camp with an elite promotional team around him. Since he's joined the money team, Davis has learned to be more patient in his fights, wait for opportunity, and stalk his opponents until he finds an opening. He's matured, much like TBE himself. Then there's the takeover, Teofimo Lopez, a 23-year-old boxing star from Brooklyn, New York, who just came off a shocking victory over Vasil Lomachenko, which made him the undisputed champion of the lightweight division. Out of all the fighters in today's lightweight division, Lomachenko was the match everyone wanted. Teofimo got it and used his opportunity to cement himself as the new man to beat. He's now ranked as the fifth best pound-for-pound -pound fighter. With all those belts at his hip, he gets to call his own shots and pick his bouts. Davis and Lopez mirror each other in a lot of ways. They both have excruciating power, quick moves, flashy style in and outside of the ring, and most importantly, a perfect record. Where Davis fights out of the Mayweather camp, Lopez can usually be seen next to his father, who acts as his head coach and mentor. But even with their mentors always around, these two can talk for themselves. Out of all the lightweights, they seem to be the most in tune with the warrior spirit, the most dangerous, the most serious, and the most ruthless. They have that classic Upper East Coast street aroma about them, ready to fight whenever, wherever, against whoever and that can sometimes lead to trouble. Davis, 24-0 with 23 knockouts, has faced his share of controversy outside the ring, and Teofimo, 16-0 with 12 knockouts, doesn't shy away from conflict. Neither does his father, for that matter. From stalking Ryan Garcia down outside a fight to alleged brawls and assault charges, when these boys arrive, things can get out of hand. Davis had been fighting out of Upton Boxing Center since he was five years old, training under his future mentor, Calvin Ford. Davis had a decorated amateur career and won multiple national championships. With boxing as his release from the mean streets of West Baltimore, 
Davis seemed to have a promising future ahead, but he's faced his share of struggles. In September of 2017, Davis faced some assault charges, but interestingly, the accuser claimed that Davis punched him in the side of the head with a gloved fist in the boxing gym. Eventually, the charges were dropped. If you follow social media, you know that Davis likes his food. Davis has had his troubles with cutting weight, but since then, he's dedicated himself to the cutting process and learned not to make the same mistake twice. Throughout all of his troubles, he's always seemed to rise above them and continue to grow as an athlete and person. And now, coming after a huge knockout win over Leo Santa Cruz, he's seasoned, undoubtedly in his prime, and more mature than ever before. But what about his potential opponent, Teofimo? Like Davis, Teofimo started training at the ripe age of six and won the Golden Gloves National in 2015. The top-ranked fighter became the undisputed lightweight champion after his recent win over Vasil Lomachenko in September of 2020, who he beat by unanimous decision to withhold his perfect record. Though Lopez just beat the pound-for-pound -pound best in the world, the takeover! Some argue he's not as mature as Davis, nor has he faced someone with Davis's devastating knockout power. The maturity debate always comes to mind. Where Davis has faced his share of trials and tribulations outside of the ring, Teofimo has always had his father to guide him and keep him out of trouble. In fact, Teofimo's father had his back when these two faced off in the past. That's right, Teofimo and Davis have actually squared off. Interestingly enough, Tank and Lopez have fought once before, but behind closed doors in an unofficial sparring match. The session had been kept under wraps until recently, when footage of the two fighting was leaked. At the time of their sparring session, Teofimo was only 16 and Davis himself was a year under 20, but they both fight like seasoned veterans. Even with the headgear and heavy gloves, this three-minute video displays the fireworks of a potential matchup. You can see Teofimo does much more work during the round. He is the aggressor, with Davis relaxed and calm, dodging punches in a way that most only dream of. Things get heated when Teofimo starts hitting Davis behind the head. And as much as Teofimo's dad tried to say it's all good in his own words, Davis' stable wasn't having it. Come on, let's work. Stop hitting behind the head. Don't hit him behind the head. Come on. Boy, he's grabbing his hand. The session was almost stopped before the round ended. If you watch this video close, you may think Davis was holding back, taking it easy. But then again, this footage was from a long time ago, and both fighters have improved drastically over the last eight years. With their shares of ups and downs, they've both risen to the top. Now, with both athletes in their prime, this is definitely the fight to make. Davis is the smaller man, with Teofimo having advantages in size and reach. Regardless, we'd call this one as something like a toss-up, although it is definitely the fight fans want to see.